Hello and welcome to the 23rd episode of Miss HTML Teacher. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to insert text onto an image. Um, preferably I'm going to use a background, I'll just give you an example of text onto an image in HTML, um, a website that I've done for um, this channel. Um, sorry, not that one, that's the technology news one. here it is here obviously if I right click on here view background image there's the image there and obviously there's the text so that's how what I'm going to show you how to do today obviously you're going to need a background so I'm going to go to file new and set it 1000 by 700 and for the banner preferably 1000 by 200 then select the rounded rounded rectangle tool and draw a simple box inside it. Obviously my gradient overlay is already on. We go to file, save as, JPEG, save. Okay. Um, obviously if you don't want it on this like a background that's absolutely fine. Obviously you, you don't have to have it on something like this. You can go and insert it on another image. Open up a new text document type in the standard HTML tags, I've done it in big so you can see it YouTube and then close it open up the body tag, won't input a background and just put center then table I think I could refer back to the other coding that I've just been on and that is my website by the way so I just haven't used that type of coding in a while I'm just going to go to my page source and there's the copyrights there by Tyler O'Hare um, table, yeah there it is there right, I'll copy that copy it and I'll paste it in and everything in between that can disappear right let's put this on a big one um, as you can see I've got center for the table to where I want the table to be border equals zero so we're not going to have any border on it no ugly horrible border on it cell padding equals zero cell spacing equals zero I'm going to open a TR tag as you can see and then a TD tag and then we're going to put space and then the width of our image in our case it's 1000 and the height of it is 700 the background that obviously the image is which is untitled 2 uh, let me just check that and make sure I'm right. Untitled 1. Okay, Untitled 1. Save that. And then we want the text at the top. And we're going to close the centre tag there. And then we're going to open up another centre tag. Put in the font we want. And then I'm just going to put in here. Welcome to YouTube. And then file save as dot html doesn't matter what it is in but make sure it's called dot html at the end I'm going to go ahead and open this up and as you can see there's welcome to youtube I'm just going to put this in white so it's visible file save sorry save and there is text onto an image so go over that again, it's table, border equals zero, cell padding equals zero, cell spacing equals zero then you open a TR tag, a TD tag, put in all the information required and then continue with your text. As you can see I've put it in big text for you, I'll put it a little bit bigger so it's visible for you a little bit easier. I advise you now to pause the video, take a look at the text and uh, copy it up or save it somewhere because um, it, it is always going to be on YouTube but obviously um, 
you don't want to be referring back to that all the time. Um, so uh, I just want to say thanks for watching and supporting me, whoever has done and subscribed to me throughout the year this channel has been running. And um, I won't be posting any tutorials up for about three days now. Um, obviously it being Christmas, maybe the day after Boxing Day is Christmas Eve now. Um, and Christmas Day is just around the corner, literally. Um, so I won't be one up tomorrow. But of course there will be one up a bit later on, um, or a few days after that. Um, so as I said, thanks for f supporting me. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more um, tutorials on Photoshop and HTML. Just want to say in the new year I'll be bringing um, Dreamweaver into this and also Adobe After Effects, which is an animation program made by Adobe, and you can like it's like some kind of Star Wars, you can make yourself look like Star Wars and have lightsabers and stuff like that, it's pretty cool software so there'll be tutorials on that in the new year 2010 so uh, have a good Christmas um, and a happy holidays and I will see you in the new year so thanks for watching